We are headed to the bee yard. Come with us as we check on our queen cells and give you a few tips on how we do it. We've got um, just our basic beekeeping tools here. It's a uh, bee brush, your smoker, hive tool, and then our bee jacket, of course. But you definitely want to have your smoker going. Makes it a little easier. We use a, uh, a modified nucleus box. And it has a screen bottom so the bees have ventilation. And then we also put in a little Tupperware with some water in it so they have some water to drink. So the cells are started in our cell builder and then after 24 hours we transfer them over into a double deep cell finisher. This cell finisher has a queen excluder in between the two boxes and what we do is we move up a frame of brood into the top box to put it alongside of our our newly started cells. So we'll have a frame of brood, our cells, and then a frame of pollen on the other side. Also we have inside of here is a frame feeder which we fill with sugar syrup. Frame feeders are from Man Lake. They're one and a half gallons and they fill about two frame widths inside of the box. So the top box only fits about eight frames with the feeders. I'll show you what the feeder looks like. It's our man lake feeders. We fill these up with uh, sugar syrup, and then we also feed the bees pollen along with the pollen that they have inside. When you're making queen cells, you don't want to shake the, the frame like you would a normal frame of bees. You just kind of want to lightly brush. You could even use a little bit of smoke too because the queens are very delicate when they're in their growing different stages of growth. These bees, they'll fly around for a minute and then they'll fly back to the entrances of their hive. These look very, very nice. All right, so we grafted about 40 cups and one is, I don't know what happened, it must have fell off somewhere. And we've got one, two, three, four, six, about six that didn't make it. These ones on the ends, I'm not sure what happened here. Looks like there's royal jelly inside the cups, but they didn't fully draw out the cells. Sometimes different beehives, you want all these to look similar be straight. Sometimes some of these are a little bent. They kind of curve at the bottoms. That could be for multiple different reasons, but you want to find your strongest, healthiest hive to be your cell builder. The stronger the hive is, the stronger the queen cells will be. So each one of these will go into a, a mating nuke, and within 21 days after they hatch, we should have a laying queen in the uh, in the mating nuke. We also use these to make splits with our doubles. We'll split a double in half 
and then make a, uh, a split with the queen cell. These look good. So we got about 35 that did well. Very well. This is our frame of pollen that we had next to our uh, cell starter. took from the bottom and it's mixed in with pollen as well but there's young brood on here mixed in with lots of pollen so this keeps the nurse bees you want as many nurse bees up helping to finish the queen cells you want as many nurse bees as you can up in the top you just don't want the queen up in the top so we'll leave that these in here for a little while longer and then we'll put them in our incubator until the 15th day and then we'll make our splits. These bees are very well tempered, especially on a day like today. The weather's beautiful, it's around 80 degrees, they're all foraging, bringing in lots of pollen. So these are doing good. Next time we'll go over graphing and we'll do a video on how to graph and how to prepare graphing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.